going. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's Mate, going on. Oh, yeah, There's a petrol station right there. It doesn't help. Boys, I don't know where we're going to get fuel from. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I mean, look at that. It's like a slap in the face. <laughs> We've got a bit of a random request. Oh, yeah? We've got this um, biodiesel processor on yeah. our back of our ute, which we're using to power the vehicle. Right. Yeah, we've actually run out of the oil, which we're using to power it on, and we know that we can run it on meat fat. Yep. And we're wondering whether you had any leftover meat fat from your slaughtering process. Awesome. Let's go make it a bit I'm working with amateurs. You hire a professional driver and you get people who don't know how to surf. Behind us we've got one of our biodiesel processors that we're going to use on the trip. Uh, this is a batch processor, this one. So you make batches of, of diesel with it. Safe to say, this will get us all the way to Norway. Okay, so we're here outside Chinatown with some simulation training. We're going to split the groups up into teams. So we're going to go Bob and me versus Justin and Chuck. And we're going to go around and find who can find the most oil in the next 20 minutes. See, if you go down certain alleyways, you find huge containers. What is that, Chuck? Is that 44 gallon drum? 44 gallon drum. Would you get us uh, over a thousand k's? The group and I were discussing ways that we could potentially gather oil on the trip, and it became apparent that one good way to do that would be to hold parties, and instead of charging people money for entry, we'd charge them grease for entry instead, and we'd use that grease to power our biodiesel process. Without even realising it, people will be contributing to sustainability simply by attending. We're in Phuket and stuff. This is exactly what it's going to be like. Yeah. We're going to need to find some oil. We need to find oil. So there's there's no two ways about it. Any Anywhere is an option. One of my main roles on the trip is to deck the boys out with all the equipment we need to get ourselves to Norway. I'm most excited about turning up into a foreign town that not only have I never been to, but I've never even heard about, none of my friends have ever been to, and just living it. Sustainability is kind of our focus. We just want to make sustainability palatable, and I've probably stolen one of Justin's words there. But we just want to make it, uh, all of these projects, these green kind of, focus projects interesting for everyone else to look at because I'm genuinely interested by it. And I'd like to see the Green Way Up as being the number one place that people go to if they want to find out how they can make their lives a little more sustainable.